Hello everyone and welcome to this plein air painting demonstration. I'm in Tequiz in central Mexico and this is Hacienda Grande, aptly named for the huge house and its own quaint little church which I'm going to paint. Now painting a prominent building like this is best to paint it from an angle. Don't paint it front on or sideways on that can be pretty boring and it ends up being basically like an illustration. We want to try and create, be, be creative and create a, nice, uh, create a nice painting. And also just step back a bit and bring in the landscape around the building just to give it some context of where it is and the surroundings. So I'm Tim Wilmot and I'm thrilled to be recording this video in front of my talented students on our recent painting holiday trip to Mexico. And this, this site's got a lovely uh, courtyard, central courtyard area. There's an even larger courtyard behind the house, which is absolutely massive. Um, I can imagine it would be great for celebrations, weddings. In fact, while we were there in Mexico, there was a small little wedding going on. I imagine they would have uh, congregated afterwards in that small courtyard. So I'm painting this in front of my talented students on our recent holiday and in this video I'm going to be showing you my process for painting on plein air or outdoors and how to capture the beauty of the Mexican landscape on paper. Painting on plein air is all about capturing the moment, the light and the impression of the scene in front of you. So I'm not on my own in this demo, just to repeat, I'm being observed by my students and you will hear them ask me questions as I go through. hope you'll find them interesting and I will cover the complete painting process with you. Start, we'll start with my opening thoughts and describing how I'm going to tackle the scene. So what is your vision here? Right, the vision here is light and shade, composition, having the chapel dome on the right and then the sweeping shadows coming across the scene right to left. We will introduce a figure in a car and it's going to be, a, it's going to be an exercise in <laughs> painting that dome, getting that oh, circular yeah. shape. There's some perspective. Here. There's a little bit of perspective <laughs> up there as well. A lot of light hitting that side of that dome. It's almost white against the blue sky. Okay. Yeah. So will you make the sky dark? A little bit darker, okay. all right, a little bit darker. And we've got the sun just hitting these little bushes Lemons. here as well. Lemons. But shadows coming across. Maybe there's a figure here. Maybe there's a figure here coming, coming out of the shadows, okay? We'll see how we get on. Right. If you need a figure, Dr I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> um... We'll ask the gardener to come in and just stand there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> right, now, with the composition, I want to get the dome in. So I'm going to start with that dome as a feature of the composition, because I want to make sure I've got enough space to have the dome. I'm imagining the dome in here, this area here. And I want to draw that in first. So as I don't start too high up, if you if you know if the horizon is there, and then I start drawing the church, and I don't I run out of space at the top. If you see what I mean, okay? So, um, yeah. And the width of the dome, as well. I think a sheep. Be very careful. Is probably the most important part of this dome, and then the with perspective, trying to get that rim right, a little bit on the top as well. Okay. Now the sides, or well the sides come out a bit wider than the width of the dome. It's 
So that's the kind of middle of that dome. So I get it symmetrical. And then we've got that sort of bell tower in front of it. Actually, let's get in the base of the belt, two bell towers first of all. They're going to come up to around right there. And they go down the front of the church to about there. And then we've got the left hand. bell tower there. Let's draw it in lightly first of all. Try again. I see them, yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Uh, is that the right width? No, it needs to be a bit wider than that. This is going to be um, as challenging as when we go down to the local <coughs> church oh. in Tiggies oh, and we do that one. Yeah. yeah. Let's get my rubber out, just erase this little bit in here. that funny little thing in the middle. Well, it's quite difficult, this, isn't it? Mm. Trees. Simplify them. So there's these medium-sized trees here. The base of the church is almost horizontal, goes a little bit uphill on that side. There's that tree on the left, balancing things there. Let's just continue with this church. Now the top of the wall is almost horizontal. Do you think about vanishing points and no, no just, so just <laughs> yeah. it's just uh, um, a little bit of intuition and just loads of practice trying to get yeah, yeah. that perspective right. So that wall goes over there, a tree, shadow. We've got shadows coming down here in the foreground. And then maybe we've got a figure here. Coming out from the show, maybe a couple of figures. Yeah. 
que es, está dibujando lo que está viendo allá. ¿Puedes ver? ¿Puedes acercarte si quieres? Couple of figures. There. Let's make sure I've got the main objects in right. Checking that dome again. And the bell towers. And the little sort of arch openings in the bell tower. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. What will you do with these background trees? Will you include any of them? Behind the church? Yeah. Yes. Um, very light. All right. Very light. Right, does everything look symmetrical? Uh-huh. So will you have the trees on both sides or just on one side? The, uh, the background. Uh, uh, yeah, the back, put the background trees in because that will be a nice little um, break in the sky and, and also, uh, again, another slightly dark against the light, like uh -huh. the, the dark against the light there. Yeah. Um, this is quite a dark tree here. But yeah, I'm not going to draw those trees in, but I'm imagining them in the, in the background, yeah. okay? Yeah. Make sure these lines, when you do this, make sure these lines are parallel to the side. So it's vertical as you can get that. And then watch that, watch that perspective there. And then as we come down, yeah. Yeah. this is the horizon line. That's horizontal. And as we come down here, we're shooting up that way, yeah. okay? So it's like an arc. Where did you decide your vanishing point was? I don't think about vanishing point. I just, just. I both. Um, well, I don't think about geometry and. That line for me, I, I might. I guess it would be over here somewhere. Different. Okay. Yeah, I guess it would be over here somewhere, over yeah, the left. It's off, it's off. Yeah, it's way over there. Um, but you know, hold your pencil up. Just look at those angles. You know, close one eye, look at those angles and think how many degrees off the horizontal or vertical is that line. But that generally what we've got here is that, you know, these, these, these angles coming down to a horizontal and then increasing. And of course, we've got these pathways here, so we can put those in. And that just helps lead us in to the composition. I like not having to, I mean, I try and do that and see what the angle is. Is that a house or is that a church? That's, a, a, church. that's a church. Most haciendas had their own chapel. Wow. Can we go Thank you very much. <laughs> You're right there. <coughs> yeah. Oh, right, let me inside? just pick mm -hmm. up a brush. Go inside there. Oh, cool. Está abierto, no? All right, painting. My plan with the painting is to, as per usual, start with the sky and negatively paint around those white, those white shapes. Oh, good. All right. Good. And we won't have any awful shadows here. Well, we've got shadows underneath the trees. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, there'll be awful showers. Yeah. Shadows only paint. <laughs> Okay. Okay. The sky. The sky. <coughs> Make 
make sure I've got plenty of water for this. And cobalt and cerulean. That's leaning just a little bit too much. There we go. So are you going in one direction? Yeah, generally. Now just carefully paint around these lines. What brand of paint do you use? This is Jack Jackman's. It's a handmade professional grade paints um, from the UK. Jackman? Jack Jackman's Art Materials. Yeah. Uh, not not very well known, but they're they're handmade. Excuse me, I'm just gonna make sure I've got those. That's what I needed to do yesterday. I got all kinds of blooming going on. Okay. All right, that's the sky. Very good. No, the, as per usual, try, just with my wash, try and cover everything except those lighter bits. So the dome, the light, the light parts of the. Um, bell towers that are facing that way, the light's coming in from this direction, and little bits of light on those gate posts. I didn't actually draw those gate posts in, which I should have. Um, there's the entrance sort of around about there, maybe. A few little entrances. So let's continue on down and A little bit of a, a green for just basically covering this. Covering that wall. Coming down to the road. You're painting around the people? Um, no, over the people. The people will be darker than the than their background. So I can, okay, so as long as I don't go too thick, <laughs> I don't want to obliterate those figures. Okay. No, the the uh, ground here. So we've got a little bit of a little bit of grassy stuff 
going on. And then it's a light. Burnt sienna, ultra blue. Oh, dabbing. There he goes. <laughs> but in one direction. And there's not a good in one in one direction, not like that, not like this. Oh. Don't do that. Let you let you're letting the the paint flow through the brush. Okay. Dabbing. <laughs> Your dabbing's not my dabbing. <laughs> Which is doing, it's like tippy toes. Ooh, like too dark. Points in English. So quickly. There's some lighter slabs there just catching the light. Come over to the right. And, oops. And. The purple shadow. Well, there's these purple planters, so um, just. That is the first wash okay. done. Let me just mop up this bead here. All right, there we go. So the next step will be getting in those background trees. Mm -hmm. Then the shading on the church. And you can see the sun's coming around now. So um, eventually we will lose that shadow on the front of the church. So we have to remember We've got to kind of remember the, the scene as we first saw it. As the sun is going around, mm -hmm. it's going to go against the front of the church and the, the scene will change. Okay, what so we we're have... We're going to paint what we're seeing. We're seeing now. Uh -huh. Don't... No. If you're here for two hours, don't adjust what you see as you go. Th All right, remember that first impression and the lighting. Take a picture of it. And a new brush. Squirrel, mop brush, soft brush, because we don't want to damage that surface. Always drying quite nicely. Right. So back. Waiting till it gets dry? Well, it, it's, it's dry now. It's all, Dryish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The sky uh, is. Yeah. But not down below. Yeah, there. not below there. Yeah. But we're we're working from top to bottom yeah. here, so yeah. as we when we get down to the bottom that will be dry. What do you say the temperature is now? About twenty degrees? Oh what is it in Fahrenheit? <laughs> now? What's the temperature now, do you reckon? In shade it's, or out of shade? In shade. In shade. That is quite Probably cool. A little bit before seventy. Right. It's not going to be as hot today. It's going to get up to about 72. 75. I say 73. I need a pale... Like all the way over there. I need a happen? pale green for the background trees. I've got a cobalt green here, viridian green. So this is where I'm describing the colors now and the color mixing to match that. Okay. I don't like viridian green. It's a bit intense. You've got to yeah. mix it with something else. Yeah. Viridian green with, with a brown, or like a burnt umber, makes a very good tree photo. That color green yeah, exactly. of that tree, that right hand tree over there, the combination of those two, those for me, cool I think. with like a uh, umber, one of the umber colors of that green, makes yeah. a green that I like. 
Yeah. 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 But it by itself, I just, I don't know why I don't like it. Dice que ya el va a empezar a pintar los árboles en el fondo y van a ser más claritas. Y él está mezclando dos colores a llegar al color claro. The plan here then is the background trees down to the top of the wall, this fairly horizontal bit here. Right, so. Now will that dry lighter? It will, Drew. It will dry lighter. Get my words out. It will dry a little bit lighter. But I don't want it too dark, you see. and. Nice and simple. Try and get that that line correct, which is going to be around about go over the edge of the paper. It does go uphill just a little bit on the end there. Now between the, the big green tree, big green tree and the church. Maybe it goes up just a little bit here. Up to the side of the church. And then down. Find your wall right there. Yeah, that's the wall. All right, try and get a hard edge. And we go in line there. <coughs> and then the right hand side, so those trees are they're going up. Maybe we can just see a little bit of the trees there. They're not there, but it's just a little bit of trees there, and then they're continuing here. And we've got a, a dark against a, a light contrast. There. Mop up that bead. So next will be the Next will be the shading on the church. Wash the brush. You right there? Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. All right, shading on the church. A ultra blue, little bit of uh, burnt sienna. And 
It's a little bit darker than the trees we've done, just a little bit darker. I might just rub out some of those lines. Thanks very much. See, of course, you can see my roosters scale no pond as much as the fire. Give me a crisp edge. Right, I think that's the right sort of. <laughs> Get rid of that debris. Start left to right. Start with this tower. Shadow. So you're painting a shadow and you're not going to do the colours it is? No, the, the colours will go in later on because they're darker. The, you mean the purple? The red? Yes, that, that red will go in later on. So this is just the oh, okay. shady white huh. um, parts of it first. Again, we've got that wall. And then the dome. Right hand bell tower. Down to there. There we go. That's all right. Next. Pardon? Oh, yeah, a little bit of. It's good to have an assistant. A little bit there. Oh, yes. <clears throat> it's still a bit too much on my brush. So see Just see lift it off. There you go. Thank you. Might be just a little bit too. Paper towel, just lift it off. And maybe down here. It's just telling you that you leave out a lot of what's there and your mind puts it in and you know you don't Yeah, need it. your, your mind the is making up. And the bell yeah. and everything. Yeah. That you don't need everything. You don't. Little, little white marks give the impression of See? something going on. Now, <laughs> trees. Let's do this tree here first. Oh, it's still a little bit wet. Want me to set it in the sun for a minute? No, it'd be right. It'd be right. Thanks. Yeah. 
Next hardest thing is that all that red trim around the church. Yeah, kind of Indian red. Nightmare, yeah. It's, uh, what do they call it? Morte. Mm. Is that a Mexican color, that red? Is that I have the color a, of the Mexican? It's kind of a burnt. I don't know if you have it. Like like dark red? With no, I'll, I'll make it up. Uh, yeah, a dark. I don't use red. I, I have a color that's very similar, and then I add something to it, whatever mood I'm in. Ah. All right, this tree on the left, Perfect. this tree on the left hand side here. Is that the one that's in front of the others? Yeah. Yes, yeah, this side of the wall, <coughs> this side of the wall. Is that an arch? Yes, Did just, you put just the arch in. It's the tree. It's just the, the top of the tree. Oh, that that line there is the top of the tree. I thought you saw the arch under the tree and we're going to oh, paint no. it. And I, I thought didn't even see the arch. No, yeah. no. <laughs> okay. So that's already in the... Right. This is um, oh, that burnt umber and virgin green. Okay. It's got to be a more <laughs> intense green, maybe a little bit of yellow. That's better. Yeah. Just pull the legs oh. apart. So it's quite a sort of dome, dome shape to it. I think I'll just go up to the that that um, line I I drew. We could just see a little bit of the sky showing through. <laughs> So the paint's still wet there. Get a bit of a soft edge. Burnt umber, Viridian green. And there we go. Now, these trees here, need to make sure that's fairly dry, yes. It's a little bit lighter, those trees, but we'll still keep with that same combination for these trees. Virgin green, burnt umber, 50-50 mix. And Checking the value, it's darker than the, the white, the um, shadow of the, 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 the walls and shade. Actually, quite a bit of light hitting this uh, uh, lemon tree here. So, 
Maybe we'll put a, in. Yeah, let's just uh, I'll cut around the shape of a a lemon tree there. See how we get on that. I hadn't planned that, so it might go horribly wrong. <laughs> That'll be the shady side of it. No. Shady wall. The shady side of the wall. Shadows are coming across the ground. And then we we'll do the tree trunks next. Burnt sienna, ultra in blue. Starting from the far end. That wall's got a bit of a soft top edge to it, so we need to soften that up in a minute. It's a little opening. Now the wall turns to a red, dark red color, light red, allergen crimson, ultra in blue, burnt sienna, mm. a little bit of neutral tint. Allergen crimson. I thought that was your gate. Yeah, just a narrow, a narrow, a narrow gate. There, careful with the figures. There's that sort of crisscrossy lattice yeah. pattern to the. Continue under the trees. And again, it goes really dark at the bottom. Let's go a few more patterns in there. And shadows. It's going to be a dark green. I should go neutral tint, cadmium yellow. Maybe a little bit of blue in there as well. So these are shadows going across the car park here and we've got the shadow of that tree there and 
a few little gaps in the shadow. And continue the shadows on the right hand side. Connect with the the wall. Tree trunks in later? Or? Yeah, do those, do those later. They're going darker. So I've got to let that dry first. All right. Uh, the Red, let's do the red now, that building. The red of the church. What brush for this? I need a good, good sort of bit of control with this. Um, let's try, well, I'll try my small brush. So small synthetic brush. Well, I've got to just soften up the edge. Do you see the wall, Is it the curved top of the wall? So we've got a soft edge at the top of the wall and then a hard edge. It's got to get the soft edge first. Got to get the soft edge. So a little bit of water on the brush and just soften up this edge here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Again, where there's a bit of light, reflective light coming back on the wall, I could just lift that off with a tissue. Perhaps it could get a bit lighter towards the end. Yeah, that's going to work. A bit lighter towards the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that red. So Alice and Crimson for sure. Light red. What's that doing? Cadmium red. A bit of ultramarine blue. It's obviously going to be similar, well, same as this. Now I've got to be very careful here with my hand, not to, yeah. And hopefully I can still see my lines all right. So there's a line there, a line there. <laughs> In fact, the red on this side is going to be lighter, isn't it? So let's just keep with this for the darker. A little bit of trim across the top. A little bit of trim there. Let's go with the same red. It looks better just because it's contrasted with the Yeah. Light. 
I think it looks all right. Yeah. Now, there's a line here. This is where your drawing comes in. It becomes very important, making sure you've got those lines correct. And then we drag down. So this, this here is the same width as that tower and it might get a bit darker towards the bottom Now, start with the dome first. And a little bit on the top, the, the trim around the base. And the right hand bell tower Get a little bit faster now that I've had a bit of practice on the left hand side. So that in line with that. Now, the, the rim around the bottom of the dome. another little ring here like that and then the windows Right hand one just a little bit narrower. Then Continue this. Oh, got that red in there. Bit of red. And going down the right hand side. Next. Next will be this orange tree here. Right, so orange tree here. Oh, I can see a little bit of the, let's get the front of the. This little one in front? Yep, I need to get the church entrance in. Oh. Which we can't see. Oh, 
Okay, I might darken up some of those reds in a minute. Orange tree, shadows, figures. Orange tree, shadows, figures. Right, orange tree. Let's try a little bit of a flat brush on this. Got that yellowy green. And then, so quite thick yellow paint there. And now, darker And now shadows, oh sorry, shadows going across the so you want shadow. Put in shadow. The planter? No, we, well we might create the shape of it with a shadow. So these shadows here. How is, is the shadow lighter than the shadow on the trees? Do you see uh, it lighter? I think it's a little bit lighter, I think because there's all that light in the car park and it's, it's somehow bouncing off these white walls, make it, making it a little bit lighter. It's quite dark, that's quite, to me, that's quite dark underneath that tree, but the shadows are just a tiny bit lighter. All right. Cobalt blue, neutral tint, mix in with this red color. And too much on that brush. Dropping some clear water just to give a few subtle variations of all right figures start with the left hand one first I can just about see my Pencil lines. Mm -hmm. 
eso con él. Nada más con una marca de rojo. Es seco. Pero cuando lo hace, era de este color. Las caras. Y sigue diciendo que no deben ser muy realistas. Así nada más. One. And next one. What color did you say? Oh, did you it's just a dark blue? color. I've got a bit of blue, neutral tint. I might lighten them up with a little bit of body color in a minute, but just get in there. So hopefully the feeling of them walking out of the shadows into the sun. What are you going to do? Artony. Lines. Oh, cables. <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. I know well, we have to see, and there's yeah. not a one. We won't know we're in Mexico. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that the, the building might be a hint. Maybe just a. A little bit of a shadow there for those figures. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly there. We need to add in the tree trunks and just a little bit of detail now. All right, and then we're pretty much done. There we are. Mm -hmm. Instantly gives us the pathways and the little bits of stones and cobbles and things. Another one there. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's. It could be a stone. There we are. It's a stone. Right. I need to darken this side of the dome a little bit. better. The bit of that, that sort of stain, oh it's too dark, that bit of stain coming down, what is it? A little stain. St the, the, uh, the, on the dome there's that, those Birds love those trees, huh? And there's a big There we are. Gives it more of a oldie worldy feel. Mm -hmm. Tree trunks. Oh, a little bit of dark shadow in some of these trees. Nice. So a darker. darker green, okay? Should use that cadmium yellow neutral tint. It's always a good dark color. 
cadmium yellow neutral tint and then the light still slightly coming from the right Not much paint on the brush here, almost dry brush marks. And then of course, this one here. Main the shadows of the base, trying to get the form of those trees. Paint around our lemon tree, a <laughs> yellow lemon tree. Is that ours at home? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's yellow. Very yellow. Nope. It needs some <laughs> nutrients. It needs yeah, nitrogen. So. There we are, and now the tree trunks. Starting with the far one. Neutral tint, burnt umber. Maybe a bit of burnt sienna. Trying to get a flat edge on my brush. And that one and so many multiple branches on those trees Add a bit of shadow in that window. That one. That one. In a minute, I'll go around to that church door and see what it looks like. To me, it'd just be like a rectangle. I would have thought quite plain the doorway, the entrance to the chapel. I think it's like that. I could have done that tree a bit bigger, but I wanted to make more of a feature of the, um, the actual uh, church there. Uh, when you say I think body we're, color on the figures, do you mean something like lavender? Yeah, I could do that. Um, just to sort of brighten them up a little bit. So lavender, or yeah, stick with this brush. Lavender, thick lavender, not too much water, just to maybe just on that, maybe that right shoulder. Like that, and then the other one. <laughs> like like I did yesterday. Just make him lighter. Did a little bit lighter, Richard, yeah. yeah. Now now the other one, perhaps a little bit of this Naples yellow light. Could use gua uh, could use yellow ochre with a little bit of white maybe to make it more opaque. Let's see how this goes. Don't overdo it. Now it's gonna go the same value as the grass. 
that's all right. It's just there. Shadow. Yeah, uh, so the heads, well, they're in the light, but what I do, what I do is I put a little bit of white paint. Because those heads are against a darker background, we could just put a little bit of lightness on the top of their heads, just a tiny bit. To, just a tiny bit. No, just where it's yeah. catching the light. Yeah, it's got a bit of a, I don't know if it does, maybe a bit too much there. Do you know what I mean? It just suddenly stands out. Um, yeah, not sure. This this guy looks like Darth Vader, but <laughs> <laughs> um, let's use a rigger brush Put for crosses. crosses, little twigs and things in the background. Oh, okay. So fully loaded and we've got a, a cross there, a cross there, a bigger one there. See what I mean about having enough space? You know, I'm just about a few millimeters away from going wrong. I just want to, yeah, it's too much to the top there, but it's all right. Uh, and then some little twigs maybe here and there where we see them. That's, that's all right, that's my oh dear. <laughs> all right. It's not your brush. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brushes are cheap. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, synthetic and this one. Not too many twigs in the background because it's just going to bring it too far forward with that fussy detail. Uh, there's that little gate, isn't there, here? Oops. Little gate here. There we go. A gate. Not sure, sure about all this pasty mess here. That's better. I think about done actually. These edges could be a bit softer here. There's my little sponge. We're still quite damp. Let's try and just... So the damp sponge, just gently lifting off a little bit of that. Lifting off a little bit of that colour. Try and get back a bit of softness. and trying to get the feeling of the sort of volume of that tree as well. some of those lines down there, but just a bit too harsh. There we go. Yeah. All right. <coughs> All right. Um, the ground is a little lighter than the sky, but it looks like that when you look at it. Yeah. This is 
where I go wrong, making the yeah. ground too dark. I think it's a similar, I think the ground is a similar value to the sky. Yeah. I think it's, it's not, there's not much in it. Obviously the lightest light is up there on the dome. Yeah. The darkest is down here and under there. That's quite dark. Hmm. Might need to just... Going to soften up that edge there. It's too much white paint. Oops. Okay, Way too much. Well, really, thing. really, you'd have the the um, that light if you're doing a contrajour, but we're not. We're, we've got the light behind us, so it's. Um, There we go, not doing more. Lovely. I'll touch up Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. This tree? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it sort of works all right. Bit of softness in there as well. Yeah. Not so sure about these. It's, uh, I think, um, it's distracting. I was putting in too much detail with this sort of lattice work of um, this lattice work of those. Door. Not a door, is it? A window, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's nice. See how much lighter that tried? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Or maybe it's because you put That's, the darks on top, but it's, it's all just right. right. Yeah, it, it works okay. <sighs> all right. Larry, you going in the church? Pardon? Because you're not just going to go back to the house. No, no. Yeah. you're going into the church. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. And then, I'm going to fix. 